This is a short tutorial on how to insert a hyperlink into LibreOffice Writer. So occasionally when you're working on a file, whatever Word file it is you're, you're working on, some sort of word processing document, you want to insert a hyperlink. Now of course you could just copy and paste a hyperlink to whatever page it is you want, but uh, LibreOffice has some, uh, I want to say kind of semi-powerful features built into creating hyperlinks and they actually come on the standard toolbar so you can do them here you can go up to insert and down to hyperlink and you'll get the same function but there's a quick button right here so i'm going to go ahead and actually select some text so let's say that we want to send this bit of text to a hyperlink you can click on the hyperlink button and then what you'll see and i'm going to move this over so you can see it's over here um, it actually gives you several options which are kind of interesting and can actually be very useful. So the standard one would be somewhere on the internet, right? And what you'll see is here's the selected text. It's already highlighted for you and you could change that here if you want. Right here is the target. So just for fun, I'm going to find a page on the internet that I already had up. Um, click over here and I'm just going to insert that as my target, right? So that's now my target. And you can change a couple of things. So you could change where it's going to open into a blank page, into the same page, etc. You don't have to do that, but that's fine. You can also name that hyperlink, which would be slightly different than the text that shows. But as soon as you hit apply, watch what happens over here. It's now changed the color of the text and it's underlined it so you know that that's actually a hyperlink. And then you can go ahead and close that. That way we've actually inserted a hyperlink. And when you mouse over it, you'll see that LibreOffice is saying, well, I know this is a hyperlink. If you want to open it, hit Control and click on it, and it'll open it up into your browser. Just to show uh, some of the additional features, this is kind of bonus information, so you could turn this off now if you want. If you wanted to do some other more complicated hyperlinks, there are some additional options in here. So I'm going to go back to hyperlink, and you'll see that it gives you three additional op uh, options here. Uh, I'm just going to show you two of these. If you wanted to actually build in an email address, so you could actually do this as an email, you could put in an email address. We'll put in um, John Doe at email.com, um, fake email. So you could actually build that in as an email address. And typically, the text would actually be the email too. I just was selecting a random piece of text. But the nice thing about this is if you build that into your document, then when somebody clicks on the email, it will typically load whatever their default email program is and insert the email address right into that document, so or right into that email program. So it's automatically going to send it to the right person and it's going to have the right header or subject information, in this case fake email, so you can send it right away. Another option that you can do is you can actually build a hyperlink to another part of the same document. Um, and I talk more about this in my tutorial on bookmarks, but you can actually build uh, a hyperlink within the document to another page or to a specific header or section of the document, which can actually be a really nice feature. And you can also do this to a different document. So you could say, well, if you get to this section and you want more information, click on this link and it'll actually open a different document. So those are all additional features that you can use in the hyperlink function. I'm going to go close this because I didn't actually want any of that. Um, and that should do it.